If the developers of The Strongest Battlegrounds added this character into the game, she would change it completely. One of the strongest characters in the One Punch Man universe is Tatsumaki. She's the most powerful esper in the anime with some insane feats. She's able to redirect a multitude of huge missiles, crush her enemies in the blink of an eye, and send meteors down onto her opponents. She's extremely strong, but that's not why I think she'll change the game. If we take a look at the current characters, we can see two somewhat different fighting styles. They all have their basic physical attack, some have a weapon, some don't. Sonic, Genos, and Metal Bat also have their projectile moves. But if we look at Tatsumaki in the anime, she doesn't use her fists nor a weapon to fight. She uses her abilities as an esper. An entirely new style of fighting would have to be added into the game. Her abilities are mostly long range. Keyword mostly, you'll see why later in the video. And this made me want to find a way this character could be added without completely ruining PvP. Quick heads up, I'm going to be using clips and panels from the anime and manga so that I can find the best abilities to add into the game. So this is your spoiler warning for Tatsumaki's abilities and fights, but if you don't care, then let's get on with the moveset. Every character in the Strongest Battlegrounds gets four moves in their basic moveset, excluding M1s. And I'm gonna continue to follow that rule. The M1s themselves are a tough subject because it's not like she uses her fists or even a weapon to fight. So I'm a little stumped on how they would work, but the M1s could be some sort of psychic attack. If you have a good idea for this or anything's mentioned in the video, please feel free to comment. This video is trash. Why are you making your viewers come up with the ideas? Are you not creative enough to do it yourself? Okay, man. The M1s could work one of two ways. Tatsumaki could use her abilities to control objects and use them to attack, or she could use her abilities to directly harm her opponents. As in, she could make her opponent attack themselves or some sort of invisible attack thrown at them. I that's my best idea, I don't know. Both would still need to be done in the normal M1 range, or else it would be completely unfair. For the move set, the first move I thought of was inspired from Metal Bat's move Foul Ball. I think you know where I'm going with this, but it would basically be a projectile launched by telekinesis. Now it shouldn't ragdoll them, because that won't allow for a good combo extend, so instead, like what most moves do, it should knock them back and play that little backflip animation. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. A unique thing this move could have is that if you used it on enemy projectiles and you aimed and timed it correctly, it could send them back. Just like how she sent missiles back at Boros' ship. For example, if Sonic or Genos use their projectile attack, if you react fast enough and use the move, it'll send them right back at them. But that could be asking for too much or just be too OP, but I'm just putting the idea out there. The next move, in a similar way to Saitama's uppercut, this move would launch the target up into the air. But obviously it wouldn't be an uppercut. Instead, you'd pull a boulder from beneath the target and hit them up into the air. This move would have to be used in close range and while facing the target, we can't have too many long range moves. Now that I'm thinking about it, this could even be a two part move where you swing the boulder back and launch it at them again while they're falling down. But who am I? I'm just a dude who wastes his life playing video games. I'm, I'm not a game developer. The third move would be a psychic barrier, which is an ability we've seen used multiple times in the manga. Unlike in the manga, however, it would be used offensively, as in it would push away and damage surrounding players, which would also allow for a dash combo extend like you do with Garo when he throws someone. Looks wise, it would just be a green sphere barrier that shoots out a short distance from the player. Now the last move would likely be the only physical attack seen from this character. In the manga, we see a fight between Tatsumaki and Saitama. During this fight, Tatsumaki grabs Saitama by his head and drags him on the ground. If this was added into the game, it could be just like how Garo does it. Pretty much the same thing, but at the end, instead of smashing them into the ground, it would be replaced with Tatsumaki using the rubble to crush her opponents even more into the ground. Since an Esper class is very versatile, there are many other basic moves that could work, like binding your opponent with telekinesis and slamming them around, or a barrage of rubble torn from the ground, or, well, you, you get the point. But I want to stick with four moves from this video. However, if you think of another move that could be better, comment it down below. This was it for the basic moveset though. We still have the ultimate, the passive, and minor features for this character. To start off the ultimate, Tatsumaki has the ability to send down meteors from outer space. Seen when she fought the dinosaur guy. Don't remember what he called himself. This could be a map wide attack like table flip or incinerate, but I hope it's not. I'm tired of the map wide attacks. Who is enough? So instead, it should be a sizable meteor that you can send down onto your opponent, crushing them. The second 
ultimate move would be a bigger scale of the second normal move, where you rip out a boulder from the ground, but instead it would be multiple boulders that are much larger, and you'd send them right at your opponent. Let's say there's an activation move that has a small hitbox range. If you land it, the boulders aim lock onto your opponents and crush them. If you don't, then the boulders just go wherever you were aiming. The third ultimate move would be similar to the third normal move, but instead of the barrier originating from you, you would land an activation move, moving your opponent into the air, where you would then encase them into a barrier and close it onto them. Now for the last ultimate move, completely taken from the manga and one of Tatsumaki's most devastating attacks, you'd use your psychic abilities to twist your opponents. Just like how you'd twist the water out of a wet towel. I mean, that's the best comparison I, I, I was able to come up with. You'd also have to land an activation attack for this one, but once you do, I think there should be a cutscene where you lift up the target and do the move. And this cutscene could follow the manga panels on how the scene played out. Now I think all of these moves could work like how normal ultimate moves do. However, I would love to see it work more like Saitama, where you get four moves to choose from, each of them having the potential to one shot. But once you use it, the ultimate is over. Maybe you disagree with me, but I would like to see another ultimate follow the style of Saitama's. And I know he's one punch man, you know, it, it wouldn't make sense, but come on, it, it would be fun. The animation for starting the ultimate would be taken from how when Tatsumaki begins to overwork her abilities, veins start to appear on her head and an intense green aura surrounds her. Now she needs a passive, like how Garo heals on kill. Her passive would be an omnidirectional dash. So if you were using this class and jumped into the air, instead of your dash being set to four directions only, you would be able to aim anywhere and dash in any direction. This would make sense because Tatsumaki has the ability to fly and maneuver as she pleases because of her Esper abilities. Now for the name of this class, I'm gonna completely rip this from a comment on one of my other videos. If I find the comment, I'll show it here. But the name is Lost Child. You may have noticed that I didn't name any of my moves, and that's because I don't come up with good names. Uh, you guys who comment names come up with much better ones, so if you have a good name, go ahead and comment it down below. And while you're down there, like and subscribe. It would really help me out, and I appreciate it a lot. If you like this kind of video, I have another one on how our Boros class would work, so go check that out. Have a good one.